First off, tell us your name and what exactly do you do? My name is Stephanie Stewart and I'm the owner of Stewart's Transcripts and I primarily specialize in medical transcription. And what got you into that profession? Um, I was just working for doctors in the past and I just realized it was something I really enjoyed. As, as far as um, business wise, mm -hmm. how much time does that take and how much time does that leave you with hobbies? Um, it just varies. I have two particular clients right now that I work for on a full-time basis and that keeps me busy for about four to five hours a day. Um, it just kind of varies depending on workload. And as far as um, hobbies and interests, well, tell me a little bit about that. Um, hobbies and interests, um, I love acting. Um, I've been trying to get involved in that and I've done some background acting and so I'm hoping to move further in that. T tell me your, your background with, with acting and some of the projects you've worked on. Okay, um, well it started when I was a child. I always wanted to be an actress and so once my children got grown, they um, did the production of Dance of the Dead here in town and I got involved that way and I was a photo mom in that and it, I just really enjoyed it, just seeing the cameras and the lights and everything that goes into making a film. So I just started looking into it and found out about how to get background jobs and moved on to the blind side and um, a couple of TV shows and then I've done some theater as well. Well, what is your goals in that? Uh, well, naturally, like every other actor, I would love to do it as a profession, but it's uh, very competitive. And But there's so many jobs now in Atlanta that there's always something out there for everybody. You mentioned jobs in Atlanta. How tough is it for someone from Rome, Georgia, to get involved in acting, and, and where can they go, and, and, and what exactly can they do to get their foot in the door, and, and how much, um, I don't want to say potential, but how hopeful are they to becoming the next big thing that would take years and years um, to get up to Sandra Bullock status oh, that would even be I mean just a dream for anybody but there's so much work on an ongoing basis um, just anybody that you see in commercials television shows um, there's always work available as far as background acting which people call extras um, and you can just move up from there if you could meet the right people basically it's just a lot of networking involved and it's just who you know and who you meet. What is it about Roman Floyd County that, that, that you tend to um, love and, and decided to stay here for? Uh, well, I was born and raised here, and I've just stayed here because it's a smaller town, and I like the environment for raising kids. Um, I always thought if I didn't have children, I would love to live in a big city like New York or Atlanta, but just not raising a family. I just I wouldn't want to do that. I like the smaller town for that. And from what I understand, you're going to be coming on board here at Coosa Valley News. You're going to be writing an uh, entertainment article. Tell me mm -hmm. some of the things you're going to be covering in that. There's, like I said before, there's so much going on in Atlanta right now that a lot of people have no idea. Um, different projects that have been filming, TV shows um, like Drop Dead Diva. Uh, Queen Latifah has a new TV show that's going to be starting in May, and it's called Single Ladies. Uh, the Blind Side was filmed in Georgia. Um, the lottery ticket, hall pass. I mean, there's just so much going on in Atlanta right now that people have no idea about. So I would just love to let everybody know what's going on in Georgia.